Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. All right, this is going to be my fun. Whoops, I'm try trying to do something over here and I'm making a mess. Um, my final Tuesday in May um, for the uh, Memories of the Meadow collaboration. Um, so any other videos for what I've done to make these um, other parts of this journal will come in June when we're not doing this collaboration anymore. But there was just so much that was going into this journal. There was more than I could possibly get in on the five Mondays or the five Tuesdays rather. So I've got a bunch of stuff here on my desk and I will admit that some of it uh, is not for memories of the meadow. I'm going to be using some music paper. I've got some flowers over here from uh, some fussy cuts from someplace else. These should not be out. Actually, they should be back here. Um, uh, I do have, uh, this is from uh, collage type, uh, their vintage label uh, kit that I'm using, though I am, I'm trying to flip the ones that I just flipped back over. I am using some of their ones that did come out of the kit or kits. Um, so some of these will be in there as well. There's some words and there's some uh, small blank ones. Uh, there's these that came out of the kit or the kits um, and these as well. Now these, if you look real close, they have, well, maybe see if I can find a darker one here. Uh, here's one. Uh, you might see that there's like a, a spot for you to put a hole. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make them into holes, though I may add like um, uh, brad or something. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm kind of winging it. Um, I'm always winging it. But anyway, I do have that and I have my fairies, which of course, you know, came from elsewhere. But the book is about fairies. Um, over here, I have some flowers that I did cut from the cutouts as well, though some of this may be a little big for what I'm needing. Um, I might be able to break some things down or something, so we'll see. And I also have some more flowers over here and some mushrooms. The mushrooms did come from another kit, um, but I do have some more uh, flowers. A cut. Well, there's one anyway. I guess I'll just put that right in there. Um, but these mushrooms came from another kit. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this stuff, quite honestly. I started fiddling with putting a little something together. And what I'm going to do, so let me just kind of get to the point here. I'm going to move the decorative paper out of the way. I'm actually going to use this. I'm just going to tear uh, sections off of this. Um, so we'll, and I'll, I may use some other ones too. But, oh, and these I made myself um, because they correlate directly with the story in the book. Um, in the journal, there's going to be part that, oh, and, oh, 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 and I have my dragonflies. Okay. Over here too. Um, so let me get these things back. So what I'm going to do here is I saw these, I think, I think I originally saw these, um, done by, uh, G Kerr on happiness and crafting. And then I saw, um, uh, Gail Augustinelli do them on her patron channel and she credited somebody else who I didn't um, know. And honestly, I can't remember the name. So uh, if I go back and watch that video, I'll try to remember to put it in the, uh, and I'm sorry, I've been painting that cover. So I've got like paint all over me. Um, I'll try to go back and put it in the credits and, and see if also, um, if it was uh, G from Happiness and Crafting who did it. And I will put that down as well. Um, but these are tab paper clips, and they're really very cute. And I'm gonna try to remember without, um, oh, you know, I didn't write this down. So I watched Gail's video and, and tried to, uh, to figure that out. So what I want to do is these have to be eight and a half. So before, let me just, these are probably like maybe nine by 12. Let me dig out my ruler from under here. Okay. And a pencil. These need to be 10 and a quarter. I'm going to work on one at a time so I don't confuse myself. And they have some stamping on it, but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, it's 1989 and 1990 and there's some writing Obviously, it was somebody's workbook and their teacher was showing them some stuff or whatever. But um, 
these need to be 10 and a quarter. So I want to try to cut off the blank part as much as possible, only because I don't know how much will actually show when I fold these, because I've not done these yet. So I'm going to go ahead here, try to line that up. I don't, I don't even mind that a little bit. Okay. So we'll go about here. So we'll say 10 and a quarter. So I want to cut that down here. Okay. But then I also need this to only be eight and a half. And that should be pretty easy to come by. But let me line it up. Actually, I'm going to line it up this way so I can kind of see what I'm doing because I can't see what I'm doing when it's turned around. All right. Move over. I'm trying to line it up with the bottom of the uh, thing here. And I suppose if it's a hair off, it's not going to matter too much. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to cut this down. Okay. Uh, there's my line. So I will line that up with my little dot. And we will get rid of this piece. And then we're going to go down here and line this up. And I will keep that because, you know, you never know. Let me just put that over there. I also had another thought with doing these. And I, and I thought since they were going to be tabs, part of it does hang over because of how it's folded. And some of you have probably already seen this. Um, but... Um, down there where it doesn't belong um yeah that'll get folded i think that goes to the inside i think um they do stick out uh like say this was the piece that's done when you put it on and where the paper clip ends you have this little bit that'll stick out from away from the page and you can use it as a tab but then i was wondering what if i Whoops, here's one. I think this is the half of one because I cut it in half at one point. Oh my gosh, I'm knocking everything down. What if I what if I did that? What if I put another tab on the tab, which could be pretty interesting. So don't know if that's what I'm gonna do. Knocked I had all these things done, uh, just knocked them all down. Um I don't know what I'm gonna be doing um as far as that's concerned, but we'll see when we get to the end. So Let's go ahead here, and what I'm going to do is she said to take it, you have to cut it to 10 and a half inches, and then fold it up to uh, one and a quarter, or I'm sorry, it was 10 and a quarter inches, and then you put a mark at one and a quarter, and then you just fold the page up there, like so. Okay, should be nice and even, let's hope. I'm not generally good at getting things folded evenly. Okay, then, okay, then you've got to put your paper clips on. So here's my paper clips. I have more than I need because I had enough for two pages. Um, let me try to get these off. My husband just poked his head downstairs. I didn't put my sign on the door that said I was, all right, let's see. Yes, okay, so. This is the side, you know what, let me, let me, I know this doesn't, this part does not need inking, but I'm going to ink this just so that you can see because of the nature of the paper and uh, probably doesn't help, but <laughs> um, this is the side that's the front or the top, let's say, and you're going to take your paper clips and you're going to put them on the folded edge, okay, with the bigger side up. Okay, smaller side on the back, bigger side up. I'm hoping that's right. So let's go ahead and we'll continue to do those. I'm just going to stick them on and then we'll make them more even. I think I'm doing five on here because I wanted a big enough base. Because they're actually, they're paper clips, but they're really going to be like tuck spots. So you want to try to get them evenly spaced as best as you can. Okay, bring that over a little bit. 
um, a little bit more because I'm trying to no, actually, you know what? That doesn't because there's nothing on the other side I have to share with. Okay, I think that should be okay, more or less, okay? So now, <laughs> I think, I think I did this right. Yes, you're going to bring this up. I have to, I'm right-handed, so I have to bring it this way. Let's try to make these straight. Um, I'm going to bring these up right to the edge of the paper clip. So try not to push your paper clips out of place. And that's where you're going to fold the paper over, okay? Try to make it even here with the edge of the pages, okay? And you're just going to fold that there. And it can be done with... Um, Gosh, I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then you're going to flip it over and you're going to take this little edge and you're going to flip that over. I think this is right. I hope this is right. Let me straighten out my paper clip. And then this piece comes up to there to the edge of those paper clips on the bottom, okay, up to these, the small end. And then this folds back over. So you line up the edge of this. I hope that made sense to you. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this even. If I do have to trim, I'll trim, but that should be even, I hope, okay? So that's what you should have, all right? So there's a fold here, a fold here, a fold here, and a fold here, okay? Um, so then, okay, then once you fold everything into place like that, you're supposed to go back, feel for your paper clips. I feel one there and one there. I wanna to try to make sure that they're straight. Uh, relatively. Okay. A little more. All right. So you fold that back. You're going to feel for your paper clips. This is the side where the, where the top is. And between the paper clips, you find a pair of normal scissors. That would be these. You're going to feel for the two and then go like right about down the middle, which is pretty much for me right about on that line on this one. So we're going to go there, try to cut it straight. Another thing I'm not good at. So right about here. Okay, that's two. And they may be different sizes, and that's okay. Um, three. And then right about there, four. For me... For most people, they, they're leaving them plain, okay? So this is what you end up with here, and I'm going to have to trim that a little bit, but that's like a little edge that you don't really see. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move these to the side. We're going to work on one. So after you do that, you're supposed to take your paper clip off. They recommend putting a little mark on the side where your paper clip came off of. If you look, it's the only one that goes up like that, okay? All the other ones fold this way. This one goes up like that, okay? Um, okay. They took the paper clips off, folded it back up like so. No. Nope. Like that, then like that, then like that, okay? Then what she did, if I can grab one, uh, where is it here? She rounded the corners and she said you could round the corners on this part too if you wanted to, but it wasn't necessary and she didn't do it. So you just put that in there and you go ahead and round your corners. If you have a corner rounder, if you want them rounded and you don't have a corner rounder, you can do it by hand, not the thing for me. Always the last one, there we go. All right, let's get rid of that mess. 
Okay, and then we ink. Ink around the outside, if you want to. You don't have to. And look, I got the date on there. It doesn't matter. Like I said, most likely, I'm gonna ink that edge too, but it's probably gonna be covered. Um, one side is going to be probably just simple or plain. The other side's gonna be collaged. I'm not really sure, you know, what it is I wanna do exactly. So, go ahead and do this. All right, let me move that to the side. Then we're gonna open this back up. We're gonna find the spot that's supposed to get our paper clip. That's the part that's marked with the X's. We're gonna put our paper clip back on. Oh, and by the way, there is a way that it goes. You see, this won't line up now. You have to make sure that the short side is on the short fold side, like so, and the long one's on the long side fold, okay? So, first thing we're gonna do then, let's get this back in the middle. We're gonna get our glue, and I'm gonna use the um, three in one. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue down to the fold, okay? Which is right here. All right, and glue your paper clip. Get that on there pretty well. All right, go ahead and do that one. I think, oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I did that one sort of out of, <laughs> sort of out of stuff here. So I'm gonna, this one should be done first for the longer side. So let's go ahead, get the glue on there. One thing about this glue is it's very forgiving. It can wait a minute while I fix my mistake. So you're gonna put that one there and then fold that over the short side. And then that one's gonna get folded there, okay? try to line them up, not like me. <laughs> I said, if it's really bothering you, you just go back and uh, trim off anything that looks like it's not where you want it to be. And I think we'll find out in a minute if I did this right. Okay, so a little more glue there. Put that one down there. Glue that shut. And did I do it correctly? I did, except my glue was oozing out. <laughs> my glue was oozing. Okay, and then these, let me get this, would go on your paper like so. And then you can see there's this little tab that sticks out, okay? Front and back, you got a tab that sticks out. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now this right now, is a little on the flimsy side. And like I said, I'm wondering if I want to go ahead and put a tab on top of the tab. It may stick out too far. I may do something, well, I'm gonna probably be collaging anyway. I may take my words and put them there. I'm not sure. I think they're gonna be a little too long for here. Maybe, sorta, of, kind of. But that's what I'm gonna be doing. And what I'm gonna to try to do, and let's just go ahead and do one. I'm gonna tear some of this out, tear it this way because I don't want, don't want those edges quite like that. And this may be too big, I don't know, maybe too small, I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and put, I wanna make sure I'm working on the right side. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna ink this up. And these are just gonna make some clusters using the paper and the labels. and some flowers, okay. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm thinking maybe, okay. Now let's go ahead and just put it on straight. Okay. So, these are really kind of cute, I think. We'll put that there, like so. All right, and then I was thinking, this is the one that I had together, but 
I kind of like this idea. Now I'm thinking, uh, my brush. I'm trying to find my brush. Here we go. I'm gonna try to dull the light, the whiter spots here. So they're not quite so white. Even around the edges. On there. Okay, good. All right, now the question is, how do I wanna do this? Um, I have some of these that I made, Quiet Childhood Dreams. That sounds good. So if we put this, now I'm not gluing anything down just yet. A lot of the pages that I'm doing in my um, journal are just gonna be kind of plain. dreams and do we want to add no let's find a that envelope go with my fairies there they are let's see if we can find one wondering if I want one that contrasts a little. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions. There's a purple one. Ooh. A little too busy. Okay. Um, whoops, you get back there. Dump out some more. There's a blue one. Kind of like that one. Yes. Okay. So that's sort of what I'm thinking. So we're going to go ahead, put a little glue down on here, and then I'll put more where I need it to stick better, but I don't know where it's going to land. Okay. So we're going to put that up here. All right. Ooh, that wasn't bad. It's a pretty good guess. All right. Then we're going to take this yeah, while I'm doing this, my husband popped in. I usually put a little, I tape a sign to the door because, you know, they come down. I think it's getting near dinner time or something. And he's like, are you going to come up and make dinner or something like that? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so put that there. I hope I'm doing this right, guys. Okay. Quiet dreams. Okay. Put that one here, like so. Okay, and then where's my little blue guy? I got it. Whoops, got glue on my fingers. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Try to soften up the white on here. This one, I think I'm gonna go ahead. I gotta find my tweezers. <laughs> be easier for me to place this stuff if I had my tweezers. So just a few little dots. Okay. Let's put him here. Like so. Whoa, he's a little crooked. Okay. And then I'm trying to think, do I want something? Um, my bucket, my bucket of stuff. Oh, drop something very important in the, in the garbage. We don't want that. Okay. How about pulling my little, um, hmm. 
I'm wondering maybe I didn't pull those out here. Hmm, maybe I didn't. Let me see. Let me see. There's these. Oh, here they are. This is what I was... I didn't pull these out. I should pull these out. I need to go in here, too. Um... Do I want? What do I want? Let's do yellow. Did not open this yet. So let's go ahead. These are real dried flowers. They're very tiny. Um, I think I'll do a little smear of glue over here and then let's see if I can get this one out and maybe a pink one maybe a pink okay come on Maybe, maybe. All right, so that is what, I'm gonna put that to the side. Let me get one of my, this is one of my um, signatures that will go in to the book. And then, so this will go, uh, did I do this backwards, guys? Did I do it backwards? I do believe I did. <laughs> I did it upside down. So <laughs> that means it's got to go this way because I decorated it the other way. Um, here is the opening right here. So that is where the clip would go. Okay. Like that on the edge of the page. And then I kind of pulled it apart too much. Try to get it closed a little bit more so that'll go on the edge of the page like that and then let's see what do I have um, something 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 I can put underneath it here we go here's just a little card okay and then you've got a tuck spot like that so that is what I'm thinking about there now I want to probably do something here to kind of cover that up so I'll probably put something else on this side and uh, and do it like that. So I think that is that is going to be the idea behind what we're doing. So let me just go ahead. I'm going to put these things to the side for the moment because these are just going to be short little videos. And we're going to go ahead here. Oh, let me close this up and let me do my corners. Come on, you. Corner. One of the reasons why it's not working is because I'm, well, the reason why it's not working is because I have that in there. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Ah, much better, much better. Let me get that a little, little better over there go. I should not much see this, but in any case, so let's go ahead. Now I didn't mark this, but this is the only one that peeks up. So that is where your paper clip goes. Here's the short side and the long side. So it's the short side on the short side, the long side on the long side. Okay. I'm going to take start on the long side this time and put 
this on here. And like I said, you can just leave them plain. Um, you know, just kind of, if you wanna just use a decorative paper or even just a plain paper or music paper or whatever it is you would like. Okay, so let's go ahead, squish that down. And then we're gonna do the short side here. Okay, and that's this as well. So, kind of put some glue there. Put this over. And then put some glue here. Okay, just a little bit there, but I think the other side holds it just fine. This now gets folded there. And then you'll line it up. Okay, and then all this glue here. And you have that. And then you put that back down and make sure that you know to decorate the right side. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put an X on the side I'm gonna decorate, okay? And I'll trim whatever it is I don't like. So that's that. Um, all right, let me get that card again, only because it's nice and small. And then that is how it goes on. So if you want it to go from the front of the page, you know, right side of the page, then you, you know, put it that way. If you want it on the other side of the page, it would go this way. Okay, big side there and then small side there. But that is it for this one. Um, well, I was gonna, I think I'll do a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more. Let's say with, go with some of this paper. Okay. Now I'm going to try on this one, the side I want to do. Okay. I'm going to try on this one to keep it more, um, to the size of the paper, uh, the paper clip, I should say. So I don't have a lot of stuff hanging over the edge like I did on the other one. Okay, so let's go there and tear this this way. Okay, we're gonna try to keep it as close as possible to that. Something a little more simple. Some can be more elaborate, some a little plainer. So I'm gonna, that's the right side. Oop, upside down. Okay, let's get that out of the way. We're gonna put this on here, glue this piece down. I think I'm going to try to, um, let's try Take this one and um, let's go here. Take a lighter piece. Okay, we'll put one of those there. What do I have here? Mm -hmm. I missed a spot. Okay. Let's try meadow on this one. Maybe, maybe not the circle. not talking again. 
Okay, and then what if we put a dragonfly? I really need a smaller dragonfly, I think, for this one. Well, I can get it on. I can get it on. All right, let's try that. Now, this one's a little <clears throat> smaller, so it doesn't hang over the other side. And that being said, we can decorate the other side as well. And these, <clears throat> because they're paper clips and removable, they can go in other parts of the journal wherever you'd like them to go. You know, before I do that, let me um, look at some flowers here. Let me move this. Let me see what I have. And I might be, ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. Okay, let me see this one. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna go for the bottom. Keep that for something else. Just snip this little stem. Hmm. Like that. And what was I putting on? Meadow. Like so. <laughs> I can tip this one a little bit with the glue. Yeah. All right. Let's try that. Okay, oops, dropping it. And I do want to use this so that I can push it around a little bit and get it to fit where I need it to fit or how I need it to fit. All right, let's go ahead and try to, okay, I'm gonna put that there. Bring that up that way. All right, that's good. Let me put some glue on this one. Okay, and we're gonna slide that under those two. Okay, make sure that's straight because I don't think it is. Okay, that's good. Oh, you know what? I forgot to, forgot to ink the uh, the paper clip, but that's okay. That's okay. If anything's showing, I'll I'll go in with a little bit of ink on my sponge there, and I'll put it down, and then put that charming little dragonfly. ink this if I want. It's not very much. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm going to do is find my um, paint. I'm trying to find something to put it on. A little bit of this. Let me shake this. Not that I think you need it much because I really do think it is pretty suspended in the glue here. All right, and we're going to go ahead and paint his wings or her wings. Okay. Tip my head so I could see if I'm getting to the edges of everything. Okay. And I may go back and decorate these backs. I'll probably do a few more off camera um, for the picture, for the uh, thumbnail, for the video, but just to not make these very long videos. Not to mention the fact that my husband's probably up there hovering in the kitchen 
waiting for food to be made. <laughs> Actually, I think he was planning on making um, chicken wings tonight, and that's that's his ballywick. I was in the mood for a a great big assortment of salad with lettuces and other vegetables and artichoke hearts and chickpeas and uh, some salami and feta cheese and mozzarella and kinds of goodies like that. Okay, so that's what we have there. So when we bring it up, you can see, I think, the iridescence on his wings. How pretty. So that looks nice. So we have that one and we have this one. Matter of fact, let's do a little, I'm standing, but I'm going to try to do this. So I'll be a little close to the um, camera here. But I'm going to put some paint. I'm going to sit. <laughs> I'm going to sit safer. I'm going to paint this little fairy's wings with the iridescent. I think maybe I'll dab his little shoes too. Or her little shoes, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I guess I'm assuming it's a boy because it's blue. So I'm just gonna go ahead, get a little dab or two on his feet. So his little shoes will sparkle as well as his wings. There we go. I think that looks pretty cute pretty cute. So that's what we have so far. And like I said, I'll probably put something larger across the back here. Um, you know what? I'm going to do these flowers too. I don't know why. I just feel like it. <laughs> so we'll put a little iridescence on these pretty little flowers. I, I think they said these were flocks or something, but I'm not sure. Little tiny dried flowers so there put a little sparkle on that what else can I sparkle <laughs> let's go let's let's go around the edge here why not right why not go around the edge of this even go in there. Okay, a little sparkle there. And why not just do a little touching? Not a whole bunch. Put a little iridescence on the flowers, on the leaves a little bit. Not everywhere, but a few touches. A few touches here and there. Give it a little fairy sparkle. Okay. I'm liking it. Cute. Cute, cute. Very cute. So that gives it just a little bit of shine. I'm not sure if I want to, maybe I'll just go, I'll, I'll go like here. Just a little bit where it says dreams, just to carry that down some. Well, that's it. So that's what I've done thus far. So it's just these two that I did this in this video. I think that's probably long enough. And we will go back and we'll have a look at some other things. Um, like I said, I'll make a few more and um, put them in the picture for the thumbnail when I am done with the, you know, with this video. So that should do it for now, guys. I hope um, you enjoyed this little video. I think I'm going to enjoy using these as little tabs and removable tuck spots and stuff in, in the... Um, 
in the journal. And who knows, I may go back and put little holes, uh, eyelets, and maybe hang a little charm or something um, off of those. I don't know. I don't have any charms, but who knows? You never can tell. Okay, so that's it for now. So in the meantime, guys, be blessed, be happy, and be safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.